You ever been to Paris? Me neither. I haven't been there. You know what they have underneath Paris? Catacombs. You know what catacombs are kind of like? It's where you get the honey from, right? They're kind of like barrows. And so that leads us into today's topic. This is what he does when he wants to be center stage. Which is... He thinks I don't belong. We quite like this as a supplement. This is actually one of our favorite supplements yeah. that we use. We're not big supplement heads, you might say. I like that. Supplement, supplement heads. heads. <laughs> yeah, that's good. It's not something that we use terribly often. We yeah. like to create a lot of our own stuff um, as DMs, primarily him, sometimes me. Uh, but this is something that we have used actually. I've played through this with three different characters. Yeah. I think so. Not the whole thing, but I've played a portion of it with three different characters, I think. And it's been very fun and very different every yeah. time. We, we've, all, we've talked about this before, but just briefly in uh, one of our Christmas mm -hmm. special videos, because we recommended this as being something you might want to buy. Uh, and we talked about it on a podcast, I think. A, a couple podcasts, I think we've mentioned. Uh, when, it was one when we talked about Cody and Marcus and you playing. That, and the song, is, yes. This <clears> is, yeah, that this came out the, of this. Yeah. But we thought today we would just briefly... As briefly as we ever do anything. Usually we're really long-winded, or at least I am. Yeah, we filmed a 42-minute video earlier. And just because we can't stop talking. But we yeah. thought that you guys might be interested in hearing a, a little bit of our opinion on Barrel Maze. And maybe just a, you know, a quick touch on what we think it is that makes it so cool. Number one, it's an OSR product that goes with Labyrinth Lord. And I, I really, we don't play Labyrinth Lord, but I have read the rules and I really like it. I think if I had, there are two games that I would have gravitated to if it hadn't, if I just hadn't been in D&D for decades. It would have been Labyrinth Lord. The other one would have been uh, Castles and Crusades. Mm. But, which are, you know, essentially like old school D&D. But this was made by Greg Gillespie, who I, I've never met the man. I uh, don't know that much about him, but I really like his products. He did this and he did the Forbidden Caverns of um, Arcana. Archaea. Yeah, Archaea. Archaea. But the one that really stands out to me is Barrel Maze Complete. I just want to touch on some of the stuff that came out of it and why I think it's so cool. You guys have never even really gotten into the Barrel Maze we itself. We have taken, like, the first two rooms I've been into the Barrel Maze. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Yep. Didn't go well. No, in fact, yeah. I it, didn't, it didn't die, go well. but somebody else no, did. Yeah. But the cool thing about Barrow Maze is that it, it, okay, first and foremost, it is a mega dungeon. Make no mistake. And if you want to play, if you have one of the things, that, okay, <clears throat> let me start over again. One of the things that I have brought up to people in the past, and again, you know, this is one level of Barrow Maze. If you are, if you play infrequently with your group, mm -hmm. but you want to have kind of a contained situation, that you can come back to regularly and not have to worry about developing all kinds of different things in the interim as a DM. You've got it all laid out right here. You could play this for the over a year if you really wanted to, yeah. I think, and still not get all the way through it. I don't want to give away all of the details for it because you might end up being a player in it. I don't even know a lot of the stuff that's in here. I haven't read it. <clears throat> and you shouldn't no, because yeah. you give things away. But the great thing about Greg Gillespie is that he gives you a nice starting point. So he gives you a real rough layout of what the surrounding territory is to, in this case, Barrow Maze and the Barrow Maze Burial Complex. So he gives you some backstory. There's some interesting factions that are battling against each other. There are things in, in Barrow Maze itself some factions from Barrow Maze or to whom Barrow Maze is very important. Yeah. And they interact in the villages and the small towns around Barrow Maze and the burial grounds. He builds a whole mini world, basically. Right. And you can drop this into any place. And that's what I've done with this. Yeah. I mean, I've just picked it up, changed a little bit of stuff and dropped it straight into my campaign. But there are a number of villages that are fleshed out enough to where you can play within them, but it's not heavily, heavily detailed. The villages and towns are more just for you to be able to have a starting point, mm -hmm. outfit yourself like you did in the old days, and then go and explore the barrel maze. Yeah. But there are a lot of different factions. I keep going back to that. There are a lot of different factions that are heavily involved 
in the story of the Barrow Maze. And I should probably explain that. The Barrow Maze is, they're really ancient underground burial complexes, dungeon, that lie underneath <clears throat> a later burial ground. So there are barrel mounds that lie above all of this. So you start off in the burial mounds, then there are ways to get from the burial mounds down into the barrel maze below, and then you're off to the races. Yeah. But all of the factions that you run into, <laughs> all the factions. Sorry, there's just a picture of a tavern here called the Toasty Troll. I like that a lot. But when you, <laughs> when you. Total side note. <laughs> which just derailed my train of thinking. I can't even talk now. <laughs> when you go to the, the towns and settlements and the factions, they are all in some way inherently a part of what's going on in the Barrow Maze itself because there's battle for control taking place and as you have your characters go into it, they have to confront that and overcome it. So the some other nice things about this is that there are enough non-player characters that have been developed to be able to make it easy for the game master to have someone for the, the players to encounter. Yeah. But it doesn't go into so much detail that you're thinking, oh geez, you know, this is gonna take me forever to, to figure out or to impart to the players. It's really pretty straightforward. And it, again, it's all in the OSR Labyrinth Lord style. Then there are also lots of really cool things in here when you get into the burial mounds themselves, they end up having um, he puts a lot of artwork in here mm -hmm. that is fun to be able to show to your players as they're making their way through. Hang on just a second. Let me find some of it. I'll entertain the people. Do that. Have any of you ever been to a burial mound before? If so, tell us down below. That was riveting. So... <laughs> <laughs> so there, there are a lot of illustrations included in this. I mean, we're generally theater of the mind folks, but it's kind of nice to have illustrations sometimes to show people. There's good illustrations. They, too. they are really nice. Yeah. Um, so these are these are included for a lot of the burial mounds, as well as areas within the the barrel maze itself. So you not only have the layout and the descriptions, you've also got some artis some artistry that goes along with it. But without giving too much away, the story behind the Barrow Maze is pretty complex. And the way that the different factions are battling against each other and the way that your characters may end up having to work with one faction or another to the detriment of a third faction is actually pretty cool. Mm -hmm. There are loads of monsters that were made up by Greg, Bull Greg, Greg Gillespie specifically for existence in a barrel maze. Mm -hmm. I have taken some of those and moved them into other places. Jesus. In my campaign. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also through pejorative. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, I will say this, there's an undead dragon involved in it. Uh, the list goes on and on. <clears throat> This is not a thin tome. You end up, I think I ended up paying see, 70 $65 for this or something. We talked about it in the last Christmas special. I know, the prices. Because it's actually tough to get, from what I remember, it's difficult to get this in the complete edition. Right, Barrow it's, Maze complete. It's two, it was originally published as two separate books. Barrow Maze 1 and 2, I believe. Yeah, so I don't know if they just divided the dungeon up into two different I think portions. they did. I, yeah. yeah. But then they came out and combined everything together into Barrow Maze Complete. Yeah. I, I strongly recommend getting Barrow Maze Complete. And even though it is expensive, in the long term, if you have a thing for your players to play on your D&D &D night, you know, not poker night, but D&D &D night that's going to last you for a year, 70 bucks is pretty cheap. Yeah. But again, just wanted to pass this on to you guys. If you're looking for that thing that you can have your players be in without mm -hmm. a lot of effort by the Game Master... Barrel Maze Complete is, to me, it's one of the places to go. And I will say, from strictly a player perspective and not a DM perspective, again, I have played through this with three different characters. Not through it, but done portions of the adventure with three different characters, and each time has been a completely different experience. Completely. I've never yeah. had even something vaguely similar take place with even just the starting kind of storyline any of the three times. So it's a very... It, it's it's easy to understand as a DM, it seems like, but it's also very broad in terms of what it gives you access to do right. and the adventures right. you can have. That's You have a lot of choices. And a lot of that is dependent on 
players. Mm -hmm. But I think the fact that there is so much player agency, that is really kind of a cool thing. There are different ways to get into the barrel mats. The last time you guys played, you didn't even get into the, any of the didn't burial areas. Close. All of their adventures took place in one of the local villages. Yeah. Um, granted, I took what they had talked about in those villages and expanded it and kind yeah. of twisted yeah. it around a bit. But the seed for that series of events and that adventure were already there. I just had to kind of turn them into what would fit into my campaign, yeah. which wasn't hard to do at all. Yeah. But anyway, anything so, yeah. else? No, God, this is it, it is great, and you know I haven't experienced all of it, but hopefully I will at some point. And it's a lot of fun as a player, a lot of diverse experiences. You get a little bit of everything with this one: dungeons, towns, people, taverns, all of it. Yeah, so. the whole it's a it's a it's a world within itself. That it is. In fact, you really could do if you really wanted to just play this. You really could. For, yeah. for the better part of a year, yeah. maybe even longer, you could just play what's in this. It is play. a hefty adventure. Yeah. So, but. Just thought you might be interested to hear our opinion on Barrel Maze. Hopefully you'll get the chance to check it out. I want to say that there may be some PDFs out there. I if you go to... Continue, sorry. I think, if you, I think you can get PDFs of it on Drive-Thru RPG. You might be able to get samples. I could be wrong on this, but I think you can get samples. I want to say PDFs are the easiest version of this to get, yes. actually. Yeah. Because this, is, again, it's, I think it's print-on-demand. Um, uh, I think you're right to an extent, mm. and I don't know how common they are willing to do that. So I, I could be wrong, but just go look on Drive Through. Go to Drive Through RPG, and you'll see all the different yeah. options. I I want to say that you can buy it on Drive Through RPG with both a hard copy and the PDFs. I always like getting the PDFs because then I can put them on my iPad or I can print them off, uh, which makes a huge difference. So anyway. Yes. Barrel Maze Complete. Very Barrel fun. Maze Complete by Greg Gillespie. It's OSR. It's an OSR game compatible with Labyrinth Lord, which basically means any OSR game you can easily convert it to to fit into whatever you're doing. Barrel Maze Complete. I love burial, mount, I love burial mounds and um, barrel cemeteries, so it fit right in with me and everything I loved. That it does. We appreciate you stopping by. And, Good to uh, see you guys. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye. Oh, wait. I'm Jim. I'm Alex. Keep your sword up. Bye-bye.